All right, so on the left we have a G3770. Uh, this has a T3 open 83AR uh, V-band, sorry, T3 inlet V-band outlet. And on the right we have a G25550. This is one of the internally gated ones. This runs a 72AR V-band in and out internally waste gated setup. As you can see, this customer ordered from us uh, the inlet flanges and clamps. Uh, just to make the installs nice and easy for them. Uh, so what do the numbers mean, right? So G25, the first two numbers of the G-Series Turbo, is going to be the turbine wheel specification. So G25, anything in the G25 family is going to have this same G25 turbine wheel. That turbine wheel is and has an inducer of 54 mil, so the big side's 54 mil and the small side is 49 mil. And then the second digits on a G-Series are gonna be the horsepower rating. So when you talk about a G25 550, it's gonna have the G25 turbine wheel and then the 550 flow compressor wheel. This compressor wheel is a 48 mil inducer or the small end and a 60 mil exducer or the big end. The big end's kinda of down here where it flares out. Um, this is about, this is basically the new GTX 2860R uh, or Gen 2. So it's, it's basically the same specifications in terms of millimeters, a little differences here and there. Uh, they do flow a lot better with the new aerodynamics on the turbine wheel as well. The next turbo, the G3770, this would be the G30 based turbine wheel. So anything G30 will fit all into the same turbine housings. The G30 wheel is a 60 mil inducer. So the big end's a 60 mil and the small end's a 55 mil. So anything that is G30 will, will fit into any other G30 turbine housing. That's how they've designed these. This compressor is a 770. So that's the G3770, meaning it can flow with a potential of 770 horsepower. The 770 is a 58 mil inducer. So the small end is 58 mil. And then as the wheel flares out kind of under here, uh, it goes to 71. So if you can see the nomenclature and the numbering, the G3770 is going to be very similar to the older GTX G3, uh, the GTX 3071R turbos, hence the 71 mil on the exducer, and for this one, the 60 mil on the exducer. So these are the latest and greatest of those turbo families with the latest and greatest aerodynamics. Uh, finally, a brand new designed turbine uh, bearing housing with new ball bearings. It is much more compact. It's got a V-band connection to the housing, making all that stuff much more easy uh, to maintain and, uh, and connect and uh, give you a nice compact turbocharger as well for a dual ball bearing setup. Well, we got pretty much every single one of these that is imaginable on our website in tons of different configurations. We also have the best price out there, so hit us up when you're ready. Thanks for listening. Bye.